Terry, this first question is going to go to you. Um, what is one thing that you wish you had known when you were an undergrad? So no direction, take this whichever way you want to go. I think for me, it would be that I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but things don't matter as much as you think. Like if I got a bad mark, I would really like beat myself up and be upset about it. I'd waste the energy on that instead of trying to realize what I did wrong. So I think like looking back now, my GPA that I worked so hard for has not come up in conversation once. Nobody I do CPA with cares about my GPA. So I think like obviously try and do your best, but if sometimes things happen, it's not the end of the world to, you know, maybe get a 70 instead of a 90. I like when you said, as long as you do your best, right? And that doesn't mean sacrifice all your friends and don't watch TV and be in the library 12 hours a day. It means make a plan, do your best to stick to the plan. If the plan changes, adjust the plan, but you know, our best looks different every day and it's okay. And if your best one day winds up looking like a 70 or a 50 or a 30 or whatever, okay. You know, uh, and I'm sorry that nobody's asked you to look at your GPA, um, but it's like, sorry, not sorry, right? Because it, it matters to as much as it matters to you and to as much as it matters um, as you allow it to other people sometimes, you know, um, and there's always a way to frame things. There's always story, like a way to explain, like, listen, that was a hard semester for me. Or listen, I had a bad test and I let it derail me. And this is what I did to come back. Everybody loves a comeback story too, right? As somebody who had like a, a C minus or whatever in computer science, I like, I, I don't know what I had. I had like whatever the bottom grade was that you kind of like squeak into the next one. And I can add and subtract in binary, but dear goodness, if I knew what like the secondary name was for the on off switch, right? Like, but it's a story and it, it, it came up like once when I was an undergrad and then never again um, when I graduated. So the things that you think matter, maybe don't, they matter, but not maybe as much as you think they do in the moment. It's great advice. Emma, same question to you. Something you wish you would have known as an undergrad. Yeah, that is a good question. Uh, the one thing I really wish I knew was uh, just how much free time I was going to have. Just jumping straight into undergrad, like, hear me out, it's a bit funny, but just jumping straight from like a very structured kind of life, you know, you're living with your parents, you like go to school for eight hours a day, then you usually have some extracurriculars and going to university, your free time is not necessarily like, oh, I can do nothing, but just like how you allocate it so you have class and then you have grocery shopping but just kind of figuring out that whole lifestyle can be really difficult and like terry was saying sometimes you know things happen with your marks and whatever and because you have this kind of freedom to choose how you want to study and how you want to allocate your time based off of your free time it's just you get a lot more out of it and you learn how to maximize it better i wish i'd known that going into university because i remember my first year just kind of going like what do I do for three hours in between classes? Like this has never happened before. So yeah, that's what I think. Just learning how to really block your time, use it well, enjoy being able to go to the grocery store at 2 p.m. because you can't do that anymore once you graduate. But yeah, that's what I would say. That's great advice. Thank you. And I like how you also geared it towards first years because this uh, upcoming year will be my first time teaching first years since I started. So uh, teaching some... Uh, 11, 1101s in the fall. So I'm pretty, pretty darn excited. 